name is Ryan Wilson. I I farm with my dad and my brother Wyatt uh, in Circleville, Ohio, and we farm about 3,800 acres. We farm corn and soybeans, and um, we built this tool um, to seed cover crops. We've been seeding. This is the sixth year uh, of seeding the whole entire farm with cereal rye, um, and we're having pretty good luck with it. We like it. A little bit of challenges, but uh, it's making the soil kind of change for us. So um, we bought this flex coil cart out west and uh, decided that we could maybe try to mate it up with an accelerator. And so we uh, hooked it on here, bought some brackets, and um, hosed it up. Uh, it seems to be working pretty well really well. Uh, we seeded the first four seasons with a, the John Deere drill, 36 foot, a little bit of higher maintenance there, and um, it seems to be working really well. It's pretty fast. We can seed, you know, 250 acres a day, pretty comfortable. Well, basically, I mean, this, this tool is designed to go behind a cultivator, so it wasn't too difficult to to, you know, made it up to this tool and then just we had to figure out the hosing, the piping was more of the challenge. And if you look, we've got some towers, this, these hoses blow up into towers and um, we're using three towers. We've got the spacing on 25 inches and um, built some brackets up front here. I suppose it'd work either way if you threw the seed down in front of the gangs or here. We decided to just give it a shot at the middle. So I welded some uh, channel on here, used the boots out of the, that would normally go like on a cultivator or something out west, fashioned a little L-shaped bracket and this just, the seed just spreads, you know, it goes over past the next rope or, you know, this might spread 60 inches here. So these are set up on 25 and it works really good. I tell you, we used to raise wheat, and we, when we went away from the wheat, uh, we just felt like the ground needed something more. And so, and boy, last year when we had all the rain, last winter, this thing, we had all our cover out there really shine, holding the dirt down. Um, we just felt like we needed something out there over the winter time to hold the soil and help those, help the microbes, and there's other th and things we don't even hardly understand that need something to live on throughout the winter. And it, uh, seems to be making a difference with the soil. The soil's softer than it used to be. We put cereal right down ahead of corn and beans, um, which corn's a little bit, people are a little bit squeamish about that. I seeded for uh, three years. I planted the corn crop into green rye. Um, decent yields, had some challenges. I think we were a little bit under the neighbors. So then we went to killing the rye ahead of the corn. Uh, so we burn it down now in, April, in late March, April, when we can get in there, and then we just plant the corn into the burnt down rod. It seems to be working a little better for us. It, this basically kind of acts like a drill. It does a little bit more to the corn stalks, which we like beating the root balls up ahead of the, ahead of the bean planter uh, than the drill did. Uh, we also use this tool, not the cedar part, but just the tool in the spring a little bit once in a while if it's a little bit damp or something like that. Um, if the cereal rye is not big, like if it's been killed off early, you can't run this thing through tall rye, it just doesn't seem to do anything. Or, you know, where the root just doesn't move the roots. Well, we'll just use us ground up in 2,4-D on the corn ground to burn the rye down. Now, on the, um, in the beans, we try to get in there early and put on some, like, Valor XLT. And what that does is, it shortens the rye up, puts like a chemical burn on it and holds it back. And um, so it doesn't get quite so tall. The earlier you can do that, the better. So it doesn't get, usually we're, sometimes we have to plant this stuff where it's, you know, head high. And uh, just last year we bought a roller to go in and roll after the uh, bean planter went through. And that made a big difference because the combine didn't have to take in near as much straw in the fall. So we're really liking the rollers behind the bean planter if the rod gets, you know, waist high or bigger.